Welcome to another video. It's Jim Fair, photo enthusiastic at gmail.com. Well, I got some good news today or in the night, I guess late yesterday. Uh, Nikon has announced two more lenses that are going to be shipping very soon. Pre orders have already opened up for the 50 millimeter macro and the 105 millimeter macro, both uh, Nikkor Z mount lenses both f 2.8 aperture and uh, the 105 has got vr and it's an s lens uh, the 50 millimeter does not have the s designation and pricing here in canada is already out there so the uh, the 50 comes in at 879 canadian plus tax so it's an f 2.8 nikkor z mc lens they call it and the 105 is 1349. It's interesting that the 105, when you compare it to Canon's RF, uh, is about $500 cheaper. Uh, but it looks like a very good lens with one to one reproduction ratio and um, you know, all of the, the good things that you've come to expect from an S lens in the Z mount. The, the 50 millimeter is a lot more compact uh, and it's an f2.8 as well. Um, also goes to one to one magnification, but the working distance is much shorter. And um, Nikon's given a couple more details on two more lenses in the roadmap, the compact prime lenses, the 28 and the 40 millimeter, they're both going to be f2.8 and now we've seen pictures of them. So they're not quite ready for pre-order yet, but uh, they're coming soon. And Nikon says they'll have roughly 30 lenses by the end of 2021, uh, their um, fiscal year. So I think their fiscal year just ended. So that gives them an extra couple of months into 2022 to uh, make their promise. But it's all good news. It, it means that uh, they are executing on their plan and everything is doing well. So that's all good news. I'm looking forward to that. Good to see Nikon is making good on their promises. Gosh, the angry photographer got it wrong. Nikon is not disappearing anytime soon. Sorry, bud. Anyway, that's all I have to say today. Thank you for watching. Fade out.